St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Our celebrant today is the Superior General of the Scarborough Missions here in Toronto, Father Jack Lynch. And greetings and welcome to the celebration. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first are Case and Gertrude Grinawagan, parishioners of St. Patrick's Parish in Railton, Ontario, for the faith and health of their family, for a friend with ALS, and in honor of Case's 90th birthday, which he celebrated yesterday. The second is Mr. Gordon Brill from Salmon Arm, British Columbia, in memory of Gay and Bill Gleason, and Ned and Agnes McNamara, who lived in Mason, Quebec, and for the intentions of the Holy Father. The third are Gino and Ida Leonardi from Mississauga, Ontario, who want this Mass offered in honor of their 30th wedding anniversary and their daughter, Sa their daughter Sandra and her husband Robert's first anniversary, and also in thanksgiving for God's mercy and love for their children, that they will enjoy many blessings of healing and wholeness and for their personal intentions. And on behalf of all of us, all the faithful across Canada, we thank you sincerely. And so we begin as we should begin all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. We <clears throat> take a moment to acknowledge our sin and to ask forgiveness of God and of each other. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. And God, our Father and Protector, without you nothing is holy, nothing has value. Guide us to everlasting life by helping us to use wisely the blessings you have given to the world. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. You have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions and suffering, the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured. Yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ will be persecuted, but wicked people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. And while Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, How can the scribes say that the Christ is the Son of David? David himself, by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David calls him, <clears throat> himself calls him Lord. So how can he be his son? And the large crowd was listening to him with delight. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Amen. 